Colonel Norman Vaughn lived every second, every day of his life. Born in 1905, Vaughn was an explorer, an athlete, a philosopher. But if you asked the Colonel, he would tell you. Adventure. I think that's best. I mean, that's good because it, it comes a, a big field. And that's just what Norman Vaughn did. A member of Admiral Byrd's historic trek to Antarctica in 1928, a participant in the 1932 Winter Olympics where he raced sled dogs. He used sled dogs in the Second World War, rescuing downed pilots in Greenland. And at the age of 70, Vaughn competed in his first Iditarod, a race that got deep in the Colonel's blood. He ran the Iditarod 13 times. His last race came when Vaughn was 85. When Vaughn was 88, he fulfilled a longtime dream, climbing a 10,000-foot mountain in Antarctica named after him by Admiral Byrd. Gee, Admiral, thanks a million. I gotta go back and climb. I gotta go down and climb it someday. And he said, I'll bet you will. And I did. Though Vaughn was a success in life, he didn't always succeed. In fact, far from it. Well, I failed too. Oh, yes. What made the difference was Vaughn's refusal to stop when he did fail. If you fail in doing it one way, keep on trying until you get it done. Norman Vaughn lived five days past his 100th birthday passing into history on December 23, 2005. A man who lived his life to the fullest, leaving advice to the next generation of adventurers. Truth is a virtue that they shouldn't overlook. They should look for truth always in everything they do. Well, thank you. Norman would have been surprised, humble, grateful and most gracious in accepting this award. If through his antics, his stories, his demeanor and achievements, what he gave us was inspiration. Inspiration to dream big and dare to fail. So I thank you on behalf of his family and Norman would have been most proud. Thank you.